Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel once again. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported machine. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, but what we need to do first is to get the ISO image, a pen drive, and a Rufus software which we will be needing the latest software. I already have the Rufus software and Windows 11 but to show you first, to show you how to get all this, now first go to your, open your, your browser and then on your browser search for Windows 11 search for Windows 11 and enter alright so as we are here this is the official site which we'll be downloading it from from the official site of Microsoft so click on that okay so we are here so scroll down and then we have here Windows 11 installation assistant which is not what we need and Windows 11 create Windows 11 installation media and that is a portion that we need so scroll down to see select what you want to download so windows 11 and which is the multi iso now and then click on download all right so choose the language that you need it to be so scroll down so Select English. Right now we confirm that. Alright, as you can see here, so we select our version which is system system four bit now. So you click on uh 64 bits and you click on it to download. Click on that. As you can see below here is downloading. So as I already have that, I will just cancel it. That is the ISO file. So we just cancel it. Cancel that. Now the next thing is to um, install to, to download Rufus software. So go back to Google again and search for Rufus. So enter. We are here in the game, so select the official site. So all links will be in the description. So don't worry. I'll click on that. So this is the surface of how the Rufus will be. So scroll down to download the version that you need. So these are the versions that are available. Okay, so you click on the latest version, which is Rufus. So you click on it to download. Below is where is it? it is downloading. So as we are now having all our files to complete the installation, so close this and then this, so as you download them, they'll be on your download folder, but on mine, here is what where they are. So my Rufus and then the Windows ISO image. So now, plug in your pen drive. Already my pen drive is plugged, so let's open this PC to see. Already my pen drive is plugged, so it, it is AK. So you need to at least get a pen drive of 8 gig or 16 gig because 4 gig as you can see the file size is 5 gig so it cannot take 4 gig so you have you need to get a minimum of 8 gig pen drive so close this right open our rufus so click on yes okay all right so as my drive is already connected, it has automatically detected the pen drive. So which is how but if you have if you have plugged multiple pen drives, so you select your pen drive, you select a pen drive which you select the one which you'll be using for cre the creation. Alright, so now here the next step is to select the ISO image. So this is where my ISO file is. Alright, this is where so you can also go to your downloads folder to select your, your own file. 
because that is where your file will be all right so you open that and then select your image all right okay as our image is being selected now the next option is to select the your machine bio style on the partition this is um my machine by support gpt and mbr but i'm going to be using gpt which is supporting vfi mode you select gpt and then already it, it has just selected the bio style vfi now come down and then click on start all right uh, this is where this is the option that will be enabling us to install it onto the unsupported machine so our machine is not having the secure boot and then T, tpm 2.0 that is my machine so you select or you click you select on that you mark it if your machine is not having at least a ram of 4 gig and then 64 gig hard drive you can mark that too I'll just click on that. It's only that it's not having the secure with the TPMT. So click on that, mark it, and then OK. So it's telling us that it will be clear written on the drive. So we format all that. OK, so it is loading now. It is loading all the files now. So just the next step is to move to the computer. So we wait after it finished creating, then we, the next step is to move to the computer. So we just wait patiently for it to finish with the creation. So let's move to the computer now, as I'll skip this video from here. Because when it's finished, we just close and then... Okay, now that we are done with creating our pen drive, our bootable pen drive, so let's slot it into the machine. Then power on. Now my machine is there also, and my boot order is F12. So you keep on pressing F12 to enter the boot order. All right, just on the screen as you can see. So we have used VFI to create the bootable drive. So we select VFI, select that. All right, so just wait on it to load. Just wait patiently for it to load. Okay, now as it has come here, so select your language. Yes, so we select our language. I don't have the product here, so you move next. So select your preferred installation type that you want. Now select how you select in those level code. So you select level code. Next. Uh, yeah, I do accept it. Terms and agreement. So next. Alright, so these are my partitions. So your partitions could be different. So what I'm going to do with you is that I will be deleting all my partitions out. So if it is not on your side, you are not supposed to be deleting all your files. So it's not a must that you delete all your partitions. So if you are having different partitions, and my hard drive is 120 gigs, so it's a bit low. So I'll just select it directly. So this is our partition and we proceed next to do the creation. Next. So that is how to create a Windows 11 bootable drive and install it into onto an unsupported machine. That is it guys today.
if this video was helpful kindly leave a like and leave it leave whatever question that you have in the comment section don't forget to subscribe see you in the next one